forest. I haven't gone, even though it's the next day, because my eczema is acting up extremely badly. Uh, effectively, I can't put on pants right now. This isn't hyperbole or anything. It literally physically hurts too much to put on pants because my eczema is right at my waist where I would put my pant line thing. Where the button on my jeans are. How about that? But more to the left. That little line is where my eczema is the worst. But it's getting so bad that my neck is flaring up. Something that only happens at my worst, effectively. This is the worst I've ever had it because my uh, elbow isn't affected yet, but whatever. And yes, my eczema manifests at big joints for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, so I haven't been able to get out to the forest like I wanted to. Because I've been stuck in my apartment, wandering around. Uh, effectively just in my underwear. Or trying not to scream in pain, laying flat on a bed. I'm trying not to irritate the eczema anymore. So instead, this is going to be a credit update. Uh... My credit card stuff is all paid up. Uh, I'm trying to get a credit line increase for my smaller cards. Uh, I can't with my bigger one because I'm at that card's limit already. So I'd have to get a bigger card with them. Which I am thinking about. Getting a new credit card, not anything like that. But uh, I got a, a weird thing from Equifax recently. Well, it wasn't from Equifax; it was from like a credit reporter thing. But I'm going to use Equifax to look into it. It said I opened two new credit cards this year. I opened one. Uh, I might have to lock down my identity and stuff. I'm going to have to go through and dispute anything on there that isn't me. But, uh, that's kind of pissing me off, if I'm being honest. Do I have to go through all this paperwork? for something that isn't even as old as my grandparents. Yeah, credit is a scam, by the way. Uh, depending on your age, either your grandparents or your great-grandparents are older than the credit system in America. And decent chance they're older than the one in New York, too. Because, no, life hasn't always been like this. Loans were admittedly a more violent but personal affair than they are now. That's where stories of like the mob and people loaning out money and then just beating people who didn't pay come from. That's how loans used to be. Except instead of the mob, it was the bank pretending to be the mob. But now since there's a system, in quotations, if you regulate that, now it's, oh, obviously only the criminals do that, despite the fact that the system still does that. They just don't hit you with a bat anymore. They deny you basic rights like food and water instead. But hey, what do I know? I'm just some kid. Who wants, you know, to make sure people will actually live to see tomorrow by having food and water and everything else. Ugh. Whatever. 
Thanks for listening.